Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Joystick Streams. My name is Anthony John Agnello. I'm your community manager at joystick.com. I'm just hanging out in the chat room today and playing Broken Age, the new Double Fine adventure game from the curly-haired mind of Tim Shaver, is none other than Ludwig Kitzman. Hello, uh, hi. Luddy, so uh, why don't you tell us all about the sweetness that is Broken Age? Um, well, it is it is exactly uh, what people who joined the Kickstarter campaign and backed it wanted. They wanted a traditional point-and-click adventure, very story-driven, um, very funny, very full of, of Schaeferisms. Um, you know, something that's that's from the good old days, something from the LucasArts days. Um, mm -hmm. And I think what what a lot of us often forget in uh, in the time that we've in the time that we've spent playing different kinds of games, action games, and things like that. We associate the big mainstream action game as the the kind of game that sort of really uses technology to, um, you know, bring us the best visuals and the best audio and all that stuff, and the production value is, is sky high. But that was originally that started with adventure games. Like adventure games are really pushing the envelope for art and performances and writing, and and those used to be the games that you that you would play just for the story, um, and and that's a sort of a timeless genre. If you think about it, it's been over 20 years and we're this game is is still um it still feels fresh to me and i think you'll see as we start playing it that there, there's a lot that feels very different about it even though it is a you know deliberately a very traditional old school game mm. well uh are you gonna fire it up from the beginning here or yeah, because like we don't want to we don't want to spoil anything for anyone because it is obviously a very story driven game so i'm going to start with new game i've i've been playing on on a different save file but um, I'm going to jump into new game, and, and you'll see one of the cool things about here. So I'm going to start save four over there. Yo, it's funny. I have I did not back Broken Age, so I'm one of those people that has to to wait a little while before mm -hmm. I get into it. And the one nice thing is, since I'm talking to you, and I can't directly be watching the stream because the stream is, you know running one minute sort of behind you and I talking and you playing, I'm still going to save some of it so I will be totally unspoiled. Because I don't get the music, I don't get the sound effects or voices. Mm -hmm. I get to have some of the some of the broken age saved for me. Yeah, after I'm also this be session. playing at a really slow pace. So I mean can you can you see the title screen or the, the screen that I'm starting on? You should be able to Yeah, see I that. I can see so the last thing that I just saw was you selecting your new save file. And now there is a charming gentleman sleeping in a space bed. <laughs> and he's got a hologram blanket of some He's kind. got a hologram blanket. It's like a those, geometric grid blanket. Those triangles aren't going to keep him warm. <laughs> Get a real blanket. You don't understand geometry. You don't understand. Those, those angles inside the, the triangles, those are, that's a source of heat. That is how most of civilization is powered. Those are... Those are uh, Imitation goose down polygons, right there. That's what's that's what's keeping them warm at night. Yeah, and so so despite these very different looking characters and clearly very different environments, this is a sort of more of a fantasy environment on the left, and this this girl is named Vela, and the other main character is uh, Shay, who is on the right hand side. Shay is the one who is played by Elijah Wood, uh, also known as Frodo. Um, and there's like a really cool symmetry here, like the curve of the tree and the sort of the the crescent moon shape of this bed. And I and I, I sort of really like the symmetry in this game, not just in terms of the artwork here, but in terms of you can you can swap between these two characters at any point. And it's really it's fun to have that knowledge of someone else, some other character, uh, being in existence alongside whoever you're controlling at the time. It just gives it a little more. Of a lively feel, I feel like it's 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 like something this knowledge that you have in your peripheral vision that somewhere out there the other character is doing stuff too. So all right, let's uh, <laughs> no questions from the crowd as of yet. Everybody, everybody is agreeing. With uh, me, Luddy, that they're they're doubtful about the warming qualities of a uh, of the polygonal blankets. <laughs> I 
Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna start on this side now. I haven't actually paid that much on this side. Uh, someone is trying to wake me up at this point. And you can just ignore them if you want, um, which is a skill that anyone has, has acquired if they've not wanted to get out of bed in the morning. Just the, the, cap the capability to ignore someone just continue sleeping. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. You also know that the characters in Broken Edge walk, Broken Age walk pretty quickly, which is uh, a long-term adventure game complaint, I think. It's characters that move way too slowly when you direct them around. Ah, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. Come on, Bella. Everybody's waiting for you. Ah, sugar bunting. Bloody somebody is uh, right in. Capain us from the comments was just saying that uh, they love how at any point you can sort of switch between the two characters mm -hmm. in Broken Age. How does that affect the pacing uh, compared to other sorts of adventure games? Um, I think what's really cool about it is it lets you dictate your own pacing in a way. Like if you are playing one part of the game and you get stuck or you just get tired or you get curious about what's going on on the other story, you can just switch and there's no sort of cost or penalty to that um, and I think a lot of people get stuck because uh, adventure games are linear so they sort of hit a, a, a wall and have to um, basically struggle to get through a puzzle and in this case I think if you if you get stuck somewhere you can just switch to the other character um, and then maybe while you're playing that you'll have that eureka moment you know and you'll finally figure out how to how to progress further um, this is a really cool scene. I like this scene a lot. It's uh, sort of in pitch, in the pitch black, and you can only see one window <clears> over <throat> here. And obviously, when you walk in here, there's a surprise for you. Surprise! Whoa. God, I love, I love the way Double Fine makes oh, characters. I love just sort of like the big, bright-eyed, sort of round head thing. I'm very proud that of is in all of their games. Like, I love that sort of consistent style between Psychonauts and uh, Costume Quest and this. Like, they all feel very distinct, but you can tell, you can still tell it's them. There's sort of that same expressive quality to the characters. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. So at this point in the game, you have to help um, your mom find the ceremonial knife to cut the cake. And that's because uh, Vela is uh, sort of meant to be a sacrifice. There's a monster that, that shows up in town every now and then. And uh, that's just her destiny. And, and, and it's, it's all uh, themed around baked goods in this world. And you'll see, I just pulled up the inventory here at the bottom. I don't have any items yet, but there is a little icon at the, in the bottom right, which lets me switch to Shay at any point. Um, not there. I'm just gonna look around for this knife now. Maybe and knife what kind of monster <laughs> wants the teenage girl yeah, sacrifice when they live in a town of pastries? For your own <laughs> <good>. <laughs> also, I kind of want this old lady's hat made out of baguettes. I would wear that baguette hat all over the place, that all over town. A lot. Even when it got awkward walking through small doors. Right. Um, so another great thing about the artist, you might notice that they actually have considered uh, lighting. So if if you see this close up, when I click on the uh, you grab another. Mom, the cupcakes, you'll see there's like, sort of a little Fire light coming on the, the character's back because she's facing away Except from that window where the sun is coming in, like right over here. It's actually extremely oh, detailed. It's very life. impressive, mm. but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like a it doesn't feel like a technical showcase, even though I'm convinced that there's a lot of stuff going on here that is, you know, very technologically impressive. It uh, looks like it's popped out of a out of a, a children's art book, you know. Think, Morelia. Mom. Lenny, we don't want to we don't want to give away the ghost, seeing as the uh, the the marquee treat in this week's podcast is your interview with uh, Tim Schafer, the director of Broken Age. Mm -hmm. But did you talk to him at all about 
uh, any sort of like the technological t tricks that they they used when making this? Did you talk about that sort of the flourishes going on underneath the hood? Um, no, but we do have some some feature. I have a feature coming up that, about the art and the creation of mm. the, the game's look. Um, with Tim, we mostly talked about sort of just adventure games and and what it's like designing one now compared to you know all those years ago. So this is this is a, a little bit of exposition that you can engage in Lavina? with your grandma what is here. It, girl? Um, notice notice her hat has baguettes in it. I want that baguette hat. <laughs> wear that baguette hat. Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. <laughs> oh. So the maiden's feast is the the. Uh, the ceremony that we are sort of preparing for here. So why don't we just fight Magchathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Magchathra will destroy this village, including your family. Lenny, how does Broken Age compare to no. uh, Broken Sword, which you were just playing recently? Um, well, I mean, similar mechanics, obviously. Broken Sword is, is uh, more realistic. It's a detective sort of... Uh, fiction um and i think because the the setting is is more realistic a lot of the puzzles are they, they have more trouble coming up with believable puzzles like in this environment where people live you know surrounded by by baked goods like i think you're you're a lot more tolerant of bizarre puzzles and and the adventure game brain that you have to adopt in order to solve these puzzles can um, i ask you're, you you're more open to the absurd i think paying attention in maiden Despite training Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. What is Mog Chakra? Everyone seems very cheery about this maiden's feast, despite the fact that death seems that to be involved. Exactly, but well, I mean, we have external I mean, perspective as the people who are viewing the story, right? So we can be horrified. For them, it's just like a, a traditional way of life. And in the sense that both of these characters are kind of trying to break out of what is expected of them and what tradition says they should be doing. Where do creatures like Magchathra come from? They come from. Do they inevitably the find a lamp in which a Robin Williams voiced genie lives I within? Want to go beyond the I certainly hope so. Someday. <laughs> it's forbidden, but maybe you'll be lucky That's the only way to break out of their restrictive family. systems of life. Okay. Grand Mogs. I think I know all I need to know about I'm going to assume that the Grand Mogs in, uh, in Broken dress. Age have nothing to do with rest. Final Fantasy. <laughs> I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. We don't want the family to be shamed, certainly. I hope that dress <laughs> isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Oh, and the other great thing is uh, you can obviously use your inventory items on everything and there will be uh, dialogue written for that stuff. Oh, that's and really cool. Special dish towels, and it's still dry. If there was a day to splurge, it's today. If I use the dish towel on okay. the Hiding cupcakes. them won't do any good. Rocky's got the scent. Use Where it on the cake. I don't want to mess up the frosting. I don't want to mess it up. My dad worked hard on that. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you <laughs> Ludwig F. Rosenquist from the uh, chat wants to know if we're playing a pirated copy since the game is not out yet. No, we have a copy that was given to us by Double Fine. And it is out for backers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? No. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Is there any sort of item combination that you've run into at this point, Ludwig? For me? Yes. So this is when you can hold out this cupcake to someone and... I can just say, no, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. 
No, Mom <laughs> says you can't have any. Just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. I must be losing my mind. So now I have to check whether I can do that with anyone else. Maybe having a little food in your belly would help you relax, Lavina. Having you in that monster's belly is the only thing that's going to help me relax. Yikes. <laughs> no use so, mincing yeah. words at this point, child. <laughs> the only thing that's going to help Grandma relax is you being eaten by a monster. Ain't that always the way with grandparents, though? <laughs> Not there. For me? <laughs> if you are getting devoured you, by a Grandpa. slavering Don't mythical beast... I do. That was the quickest cupcake consumption I've seen in a while. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> so, so, far, so far we've learned that Grandpa is the one who hid the knife. But we don't know where. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! I want some cake now. <laughs> Ludwig, since I don't have the game audio on, every now and again I hear it just on your microphone, and it sounds like people are in your home fighting or yelling about things. I'm like, oh, wow! Everything's really exciting over at Ludwig! Because this used to be a town of war. Then I have to realize, no, no, that's the game just being charming. You know, there's almost sort of a Wind Waker-y thing going on. Yeah, I can see that. Um, the other thing I think is interesting about Broken Age is it actually does go through some effort to teach you some adventure game basics, which I feel like a lot of adventure games don't bother with because they just assume yeah, that you like those games. I'm not games sure and you know how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> Yeah, the last, I guess the last real adventure game that I got yes. into Want a cupcake? was last year when I played through yes. the full version of The Walking Dead. And The Walking Dead, like, The Walking Dead is really well paced, but that sort of does just throw you into the mix and assumes that you know what you're doing as soon as you press start. Right, it's it's um, but I mean, Mom, The Walking Dead is like these games, but minus the puzzles. The monster instead um, of feeding it. That's my girl. Now that's beast. But I think having to solve puzzles Please, is uh, loves, it just involves you in the story more is. because you have to learn how to think not only like the the puzzle creators, but like the characters and and how they would, uh, would approach I? problems in in their own world. You know, like it's it's kind of it's a kind of immersion in a way. Mm. For me. Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? Oh, what taking thing? advantage of old no, people. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> A marquee part of any grand adventure. Is the moment when huh? you start taking advantage of the elderly. <laughs> fought the monster instead of feeding it. That's my girl. Also, now everything is up for grabs. You are usually up. some kind of kleptomaniac in an adventure Don't game. Like you just hard. pocket <laughs> yeah, right. everything for 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 a good intents because you think it'll come in handy at some point. But one of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. I'm gonna cut the cake. All right, time and to serve this girl was that up. old man the allowed to have that knife when his time. hands are clearly so shaky? Why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. <laughs> Majestic to behold. Awe-inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious, but Mog Chathra is more than that. <laughs> Merciful and generous, Mog Chathra keeps our town safe. 
All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chafra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be. People right. are so excited for her to be picked. <laughs> it's, it's always that's that's always very upsetting in some kind of you know fantasy culture that involves ritual uh, sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, but she looks lovely. Like she's got such a nice. Everybody, why is there confetti falling from the sky? <laughs> that is not. That does not seem appropriate. Up for grabs. Uh. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mom chocolate. These and these girls are so backwards. fiercely competitive. I think it's attractive to starve themselves. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. Can we remark on the size of that drumstick, just briefly? <laughs> Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? This is the worst quinceañera I have ever Need been to. Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Never mind. It's very important that I, I happen to have a towel in my in my inventory, because as we know, a towel is one of the most Bye. useful Bye. items Sorry. in the galaxy. Mm-hmm. As long as you know where that is. That is, speaking of like classic adventure games, I have never ever played the old uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy text adventures. And I have heard that they remain incredibly, incredibly funny, though archaic to interface with at this point. Something I'm always disappointed by when I see that somebody's designing a brand new type of adventure game is. I want to see somebody bring text parsers hey, back into something that's like weapons? sumptuously animated like hey, this. Does. I know that, you know, a point and clink interface is always going to be, you know, provide a more fluid experience. But at the same time, I love the idea of trying to figure out exactly what a game wants me to say without giving me like a dialogue choice. Of course, that's incredibly difficult, but. I think that horn might be a croissant. I hear him! Look, there he is! I also love how, like, uh, Bella was just suggesting ways to attack the monster <laughs> to everyone, and they were all like, nope, we just want to be picked. This being the Mog Chothra. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here! No! This way, Great One! I am the one you've come so far to find! Over here! I am in blue for you! See? He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth! What? No way! He's coming my direction! Oh, finally her family looks Don't concerned! <laughs> we're like, oh, maybe we should stop smiling because there's a horrific, bulbous monster about to devour our child. Wow. This part is surprisingly dark. This is really dark. <laughs> Does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Now that's Nothing left but crumbs. Horrible. Hey, can I I'm gonna tell you this. During the best of the year awards for 2014, best hats. Broken Age gets the award for best hats. <laughs> Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much better. Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Should have been me. Okay, here we go. That's right. Wow, this gets what really gross too. Of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slimming corset? I wouldn't want to hide my best asset from Mark Chalk. He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. This lady is weirdly possessive of her Just drumstick. Just wanted to say <laughs> Glad I'm not wearing that anymore. Much as I'd like to shred this thing, it might come in handy later. Shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. I've never heard of stuffing a corset. Probably because nobody does that. <laughs> I don't want to cut that. Maybe I can just cut it. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. If those are even eyes. <laughs> Forgettable username in the chat is saying, uh, <laughs> that, come on, it's really not that bad. I don't know, man. Pretty dark. That thing is so huge, it's like trying to put handcuffs on a straw. Seems small to me. Oh, that's actually a great question. Forgettable username was just uh, wondering, is this a game where you can die? Because that was always... that's sort of a fixture that's disappeared from a lot of adventure games. You know, there are... fail states are not as common as they used to be. Have you yeah, run into a situation I, where you can get killed? I don't think you can. Need a towel? Nope. Need a utensil to eat that? No thanks. I feel silver tracks <laughs> from the hand feel of the food. I don't think I could hit her from here. She's too skinny. Do we have any suggestions for how to solve Much this Much as I'd like to shred this thing, shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. Mm. Let's I see what the crowd says. About that bird, I've got no ride out of here. So we're trying to get that that bird's attention, I think. <laughs> it's coming around again. I could probably <laughs> slip it on her. Susan so recommends you person. hit the bird, Letty. I just hit tried to hit the bird. <laughs> the bird has to be closer. Don't need it. A little water isn't gonna kill me. No way am I putting that thing back on. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Hmm. Not working. I think I need to get something, Nothing I need to get that drumstick somehow. This Mog Chathra is just clearly a patient a monster. He's taking this selection very seriously. Alright, so, your items are, you have the knife, you have your corset, Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. Uh, uh. I don't need it where I'm going. See, we want a piece of the uh, drumsticks, d drumsticks, so that we can lure the bird to us, because it's probably a meat eating bird. Right. And, and it keeps hassling fun size there. How about something um, to wash it down? Let's see. Well, thanks. Don't mind if I. Ah! How about the slimming corset? That's, she's not going to take that well. Quick, 
So that earlier scene told us that the the, the water sprays out of the bottle when it's open. Can you combine the towel and the corset? Nope. I just got the drumstick though. Oh. Oh. How long have you been standing there? Are you part vulture or something? How can you think about food at a time like this? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. That's it. Whack those big blue wings. Just a little bit harder. Come on, girl. Give it all you've got. Hey, how about oh, towel. this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! Oh no. And this is where we end up after our escape. So in hindsight, using the corset on the giant meat-eating bird makes complete sense. Of course! <laughs> oh man, the old folks are not happy <laughs> about this. Boom! Kicked in the face, Mog Chathra. I think I ordered a Mog Chathra at a restaurant. So I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you can't do that everywhere because unless Mog Chatra is prepared just right, you know, it's really chewy. Right, you can end up killing him. I still really want cake now. This is my one of my main criticisms of this part of the game, is I just want to have cake when I play it. I just want to eat cupcakes. Eh. Non stop. Buddy, we're, we're getting some requests to switch over to Shay. Alright, let's do it. I've been enjoying the subtitles of the uh, the onomatopoeia of the the things yeah. that are not just dialogue. See, that was an angry squawk. Dad, look. So as soon as you see any character in an adventure game covet an item, it means that you must somehow find a way to steal that item. Bloody Susan asks a very valid question, which is, when do you not want cupcakes? That is a fair point. <laughs> when they're vegan? Oh. <laughs> Sick burn on the vegan cupcakes. Actually, man, I have had some hey, spectacular vegan shanks, cupcakes. Huh? Better get out. I'm almost off duty. Mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she so just like that we've lost. I'm I'm switching to uh, Shay, who is just waking up. Have a great day, Shay. There's my little angel. Oh. And his mom and dad appear in these uh, spheres. Um, it looks like they're computer generated. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. There's a giant mustache in that glowing ball, Shay. Don't trust it. I also notice how both the protagonists of this game are very sound sleepers. Parry. Okay. That's what I need. I need a video compilation of all of the many like video game wake up calls. That has started. Yeah, over the years. Trigger, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. Chrono Trigger, uh, Ocarina of Time. Actually, Link, so Link to the Past. Link to the Past would have to be the Zelda wake-up call that's the best. When it's a dark and stormy night and suddenly you hear a woman in your head saying, Hey, come to a dungeon! Help me! Choco <laughs> Rockets? Wow, the, the, the effects of Shay getting, like, automatically cleaned are super cool. Yeah. 
so at this point, uh, you'll you'll catch up in just a second. At this point, you have to select what cereal you would like today, um, and it's really fun just saying no to almost everything. <laughs> sure. What difference does it make? But first, I'm going to say yes. I don't want to spoil the jokes, obviously. But you should definitely do that when you play. Say no to everything. <laughs> Yeah, Bill's and Cabbage in the uh, comments is also saying, refuse all the cereals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love that cereal bowl, and I really want one, because um, it's adorable. And uh, so you have a talking spoon with which to say. <laughs> and this is, another, this is a point where it's like it's showing you how to use items with one another um, in the game. So pick up the spoon. You can examine it. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Or, you know, you just Once drag it. You hold down the button, you drag reach. it onto the cereal, and that's how you... Just like in real life, really you happening. click on your now, spoon, sir, and then I you use I spoon with cereal bowl. Facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? And there's a reason why Shay is sort no. of kind of well, mopey and, and disinterested, as you will see milk? momentarily. He is awfully despondent. Yeah. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain Sweet. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, His mom's voice is Jennifer Hales, in case you didn't on the planet recognize it. Man, Jennifer Hale, train in system seven that's like, for she keeps family. talking in every game around. She is now the Lady Nolan North of video games at this point. Well, no, she's the Lady oh, Troy Baker. The Lady <laughs> Troy Baker, yes. Who is the new Nolan North. Has attached itself to the hull of this very but I also think she was the old Nolan North, so uh, it all makes sense. <laughs> Um, so let's catch, well I kind of want to catch the runaway train, but I also want to defend the friendship circle. Uh, let's do runaway train, I like the runaway train. Let's catch that runaway train! Aye aye, Captain Sweetie, to System 7. <laughs> this whole spaceship looks like it's a Fisher-Price product. Luddy, an actual question just came in, not through the chat, but through my personal email account. And it turns out that my mom is watching the stream right now. <laughs> and she wants to know what sort of trippy, weird game she is watching. <laughs> it's a regular video game, Mom! All video games are like this. They're all visually creative and funny and charming. Wait, no. I wish that were true. Why isn't that true? So in case you notice, this is like a mission that Che has been sent on, but it's... it's What's that, son? Did clearly been manufactured. Bridge, so this train is about idea. to go over the bridge. Um, <laughs> but you can just you can just ignore it and just if see what happens. There were a heroic genius on the train. They're trying to make him feel heroic. <laughs> and uh, what I like about Chase, he's he's a little sardonic, a little, a little funny that way. You can so, let go now. I got this. I'm sure this isn't too much of a spoiler, but do the two characters meet up before the end of episode one? I don't know. Oh! You can let go now. I got this. I'm not letting go until that bridge is down. You can let go now. I got this. I'm not letting go until that bridge is down. <laughs> Forgettable username in the comments says, I just got an email that says, Dear Commander Sweetie. Why did I invite this upon myself? <laughs> so this is one of my funniest jokes. I've used the spoon on these guys on the train. Well, we're stuck in the snow. Better eat the other passengers. It's a little early for that. Why not yell at the bridge man first? <laughs> Wake up, bridge man! <sighs> Wake up, bridge man! And I saved the day. Thank you, brave hero. We should celebrate. Let's do the 
Absolutely not. I love the, the the super long arms on that one special pal. special nutrition paste for you today. <laughs> Tater tot flavor. Oh, God. The, the volcano's tongue is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Which one should I do next? Can you Can you check the chat and see? What people want to do. Help the avalanche victims, defend the friendship circle, or suit up and investigate that foreign body. Mm. Let's see what the crowd thinks. Susan is voting foreign body. All right. Better suit up and investigate that foreign. I'm body. a foreign body, so I identify with that. Let's use the safety. Come on. Call me crazy, but Shay seems a little too old for some of the effects uh, in his <laughs> own. Indeed. All right, we're out in space now. Notice that he is, well, you'll see soon, he's wearing a scarf around his spacesuit. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Well, I can just click up here. Woo! Ah. <laughs> Ghastly Demise in the comments just said that, uh, like Shay's go. world, it's almost like Hal Damn. from Space, uh, <laughs> Space Odyssey 2001 is just, but it, but like if Hal treated you like a baby. Yeah. And exactly. now I want like 2001 babies, like Muppet babies, but with a Space Wait, Odyssey. Wait, better start working on that. <laughs> yeah, right, that, that I'm going to get that really on Kickstarter way to right now. Awkwardly walk to this mysterious foreign body, which I should probably try to eat. I think that would make sense. I don't think eating it should be my first step. <laughs> I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! It's a present. You're going to love this dinner pill. The creepiest looking name. pulsating present I have ever seen. <laughs> it's an interesting take what on the face hugger. Yeah, right. Uh, let's go help the the avalanche victims. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. <laughs> They're made of yarn, in case you haven't noticed. Our, our heroes in Broken Age are beset on all sides by confetti, I've noticed, too. There, there is constantly confetti happening. Confetti is and... the new lens flare. That's not worse. So this is amusing if you just ignore these guys for a little bit as they struggle from their ice cream avalanche. They're creepy yarn people. <laughs> this isn't as delicious as it sounds. Oh, poor squirming yarn people. 
me just examine something else for a bit. <laughs> check this out. Why not check out? I gotta readily admit, the idea of a giant ice cream room is pretty disgusting. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Hmm. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. I think I should really be eating the ice cream over there if I want to complete this mission. So the only way to save them is to eat them out. Oh dear God! Don't do it. That ice cream has been sitting <laughs> out for days. Come on, grab and Gary. For days. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> Remember. Chew your food 32 times. Yay! Yay! What a brilliant idea! Look at him go! So brave! <laughs> like, still? <laughs> like, since I don't have the game audio, I can just hear the yawn, yarn people very quietly through my headphones going like, wee wee wee! Wee wee wee! wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> it's deeply unsettling. <laughs> Come on, sleeping beauty. So the the puzzle of this this early part of the game is basically you're you're stuck in this cycle of waking up and doing you know missions that are really just designed to be super fun and patronizing. Right. And you just do it over until you find a way to to break the cycle. So I'm going to refuse some of the cereals. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Nebulumps? Yuck. You know I hate that. Soylent dreams. Alright, let's go with that one. There are, there are plenty more after that. Affirmative. Food selection approved. Also notice that the cereal bowl gets a smile once it's filled up. Your saliva has a 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. Oh, Soylent Dreams. Come on. <laughs> I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. Oh, I want a yarn pal now. Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Fake. What if I ate the fake controls? Don't see anything there I want to eat. <laughs> What if I try to eat myself? <laughs> Don't see anything there I want to eat. Eat everything. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Oh. What happened here? <laughs> From an enemy vessel or an alien creature? The yarn people kind of look like the hills in the background of Mario games. Yeah. <laughs> Are you insane? Yes. Special nutrition paste for you today, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese nutrition paste. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> God, no wonder Shay is so. So Croft is still around. Gotta get out of this God. routine. Um, so there was your clue. He says, "Oh, I gotta get out of this routine." That's your your big hint. Um, so if you don't want to know the solution to this puzzle. Uh, you should tune out now. We're in the last 10 minutes of the stream, so... Fake train wreck, please. <laughs> Although it is a pretty easy puzzle, but you'll, you'll see. We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! <laughs> I also really like how the, um, the subtitles um, sometimes move even though the when the character is moving. Mm. Um, that's a pretty nice touch. 
Yeah, the the attention to minute detail is really wonderful. Wake up, bridge man. Great. Now don't do anything else. I'm going to let go. Back to sleep. What are you doing? Ah! Shane! Finally, Shay livens up a little bit. Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, <laughs> and you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. <laughs> I'm sure he had his reasons. It's a great line. <laughs> but no one. Hey, wait. What? And there's sort of the, the little bit of intrigue that sets you off on the, on the rest of the story. For this no character. discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Fake snoring, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? It looks like a weird little screwdriver. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Missions cancelled until further mm. notice. <laughs> Whoops. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air t it's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. You gotta wonder have those. Is Will Wheaton tired air? of being a I space team? <laughs> He's been a space team for so long. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey. What are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Weird little screws, weird little screwdriver. <laughs> and... It works! Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow up doll of me. Creepy. The shift, going to call him like the fact that the art style for both characters sort of accommodates both really pleasant, really sort of charming and bright at the exact same time as being really spooky is spectacular. I, I love that. Lazy me. And so like at this point you can see like you just open up the inventory and I can just jump back to uh, mm. Bella really easily. And it's it's kind of amazing to see the contrast. 
in just their, their environments. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Also, there's like a really neat touch here. You can see there's a reflection on the the glass of Shay's room when you walk over it. I'm and going to call him Little Lazy Me. <laughs> and meanwhile, those freaky birds are still being freaky. Yep. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. What are you... This is the PC version, right? That Not is correct, yeah. yeah. It's it's PC and Mac at the moment, and I believe there, there's an iPad version as well. Yeah, well, um, Bill said Cabbage in the uh, comments is saying that the Linux version also runs very smoothly. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I, think my, uh, I haven't tried the iPad version yet, but I imagine that will be my favorite way to play it. Um, mm -hmm. Although this game looks fantastic on a big screen TV as well. Are they making console versions? Uh, none announced, no. None announced. Well, that would certainly be nice. Um, is there any, any other questions or anything um, specific? Because I, I don't want to go much further. Yeah, no, if, yeah, if, you plumb, if you plumb any further, I think, uh, I think that'll start. I think this is a, a good... Mm. A good tease and a good sort of uh, yeah demonstration of the game's obvious qualities. Um, and <laughs> as someone in the comments is Bill's at Cabbage is saying that Ouya an Ouya version is happening. Mm -hmm. Uh, man, that is <laughs> Shay seems like he might be an Ouya owner. There might be an Ouya somewhere. In that, uh, in that terrifying spaceship of his. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think that we have answered the many questions of our viewers. Um, I think this is as good a place as any to start wrapping it up. Yeah. Bloody so do you like when you're when you're on this cloud, if you if you stand in the middle of nowhere, you'll sink through the cloud and fall and be caught by another bird. So you have to keep sort of have to stand on these wooden supports or keep moving. It's kind of keep moving. Another great touch. Oh, very cool. Oh, God, she is sinking. <laughs> she looks like she weighs nothing, though. But I guess yeah. clouds aren't particularly supportive as uh, platforms go. She seems bird-like bird herself, bird-like and graceful. Mm -hmm. uh, Luddy, obviously you're going uh, to be reviewing Broken Age a little bit later. Um, but, yeah, do you, have any, do you have any final thoughts that you would like to relay to people who might be... Uh, sitting on the edge of playing the game. No, I, th I think it's. It, I think it's going to be. Um, it's going to be worth it just because it has such a strong uh, fan component. I think if you like adventure games, this is definitely going to be uh, very pleasing to you. Like the the style and and uh, just the the mechanics and all that stuff is very well presented here. It's it's probably never been as polished as it is here now. Like I don't think I've seen an adventure game, a traditional adventure game, that's been as polished as this one. Um, or is lovingly made, and I think um, if you are not familiar with adventure games, uh, and but you are driven, but you are drawn to story in video games. I think uh, games like like these ones are, are tend to be very good examples of of very creative, uh, almost novelistic kind of uh, storylines. I think adventure games are always a bit like, but like novels, like you relax and you sort of invest yourself and and sort of read it at a leisurely pace. Um, because there's never really, you never really put under pressure or, or get uh, tested on your reflexes, for instance, in an adventure game. Um, it really is just about how Please how well you are into the uh, of immersing yourself in the story, how well you're understanding the the world and, and sort of embracing the fiction. That's that's the test of an adventure game. Is when you when you get to the point where uh, solving absurd puzzles makes complete sense to you. Mm. Mm. When using the corset on the bird is the only obvious choice. Why would you even? be confused by that <laughs> <laughs> oh adventure game logic um yeah well i'm i'm really looking forward to playing it now and i actually don't feel like 
you know, this is actually just sort of whetted my appetite even more for it. Yeah, and this is Act One of Two. Don't forget. So later this year, we'll get the second, the second piece of Broken Age. A second, a second serving, as mm-hmm. it were. Uh, I um, think it's on. It's on Steam. You can buy the se- the season pass for twenty five bucks. That gives you both acts. God, that's very. That's actually really reasonable. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for coming out. Uh, as always, this is Joystick Streams. We broadcast uh, the latest, greatest, and weirdest, and oldest, and any games that are striking our fancy on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Mm. Next week, uh, we might have a little something different. Our schedule might get a little little wacky. We will possibly have a special event on Tuesday that has yet to be determined. If not, uh, and that plan falls through, we will be streaming Metal Gear Rising Revengeance uh, for PC on Tuesday. Uh, and then possibly on Thursday, a little retro action mm-hmm. with some Sega CD games and Mr. Richard Mitchell. Uh, everybody, if you're looking for something to put in your ear holes this weekend, the Super Joystick Podcast uh Latest episode, number 81, will be available tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Luddy is talking to Tim Schaefer on that, and it will be awesome. You can follow us on Twitter. It's just twitter.com slash joystick. You can find us on Facebook. And as always, we are right on joystick.com. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming out, everyone. It was awesome having you. Luddy, do you want to say goodbye? No, I do not. I refuse to say goodbye. It just makes me sad. (laughs) Parting is not (laughs) such sweet sorrow. We're done here. All right, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next week.